Hi guys, what can I say? Not the update I wanted to give you. Um, my app on my phone went through the five stages. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. I was getting so excited. I couldn't believe it, this car's gonna get built. Then I got to stage four, car has been produced, and they sent me these beautiful pictures of the car on the production line. Um, my appetite was more than drooling. You can tell by the tone of my voice, this is not a happy ending story. But anyway, I followed through the app, saw those images coming through, I got a VIN number. I mean, I was literally just on the verge, couldn't believe it. Anyway, hit stage five, ready for delivery. I thought, okay, I'm not gonna keep chasing the dealer because I'm just gonna become a pain in the ass. Eventually, I'm gonna go to the dealership and pick the car up and look the man in the eye, so I didn't really wanna become a bit of a pain. So I tried to control my excitement and didn't chase. Um, and uh, then I did chase because I'd now already sold my car, so I'm now carless. And I thought, you know what, I need to find out what's going on because the delivery date is next week, apparently. And I get the bombshell that the car's been held in quality control, QC, and it's still in Germany. Now, of course, as you can imagine, that came to a bit of a shock horror, because now I'm thinking, okay, I've got to find myself a car. I'm using our temporary pool car at the moment, which is fine. First world problem. However, dealership can't give me a date as to when the issue is going to be resolved. So I did a bit of research and it looks as though way back in January there was a heater matrix fault and loads of cars have been um, recalled because of it. Basically, if you're in a hot climate, you probably won't realise that your heater matrix doesn't work because you're never putting the heating on. You're always using it on cold. Um, if you're in a colder climate, especially in winter, you probably had your car through the summer and then in the winter you turned your heating on for the very first time in your Taycan. And lo and behold, cold air so your screen wasn't going to demist and therefore it becomes dangerous you're in Porsche they say stop driving it park it up and they collect it and they change out the heater matrix so this has been happening since January um, and apparently there's about 1500 cars in this country that are affected by the problem now when you consider the number of cars that Porsche sold in the Taycan variety um, that's actually quite a high number so what they seem to be doing, and there is no authority on this, there's no actual official line, they seem to be prioritising any replacement heater matrixes that, that they do get stock of, they're um, prioritising repairs. So my car being a new car is going to be one of the last to get uh, a heater matrix fitted. So I don't have an ETA as to when I'm going to get the car. Um, I'm still hopeful, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, um, I still look at the pictures that they sent me periodically um, and uh, keep my enthusiasm up. But, um, you know, at the moment, I don't know when the car's going to arrive. Now, interestingly, what I noticed after I had that final conversation with the dealer um, is I then went into my app and my car had disappeared. Everything had gone. It was as though I didn't even have a Porsche ID. Um, I logged in nothing there my car had gone I thought oh my god they, they cancelled my car because during this process I, they offered me some other cars that just weren't the build that I wanted um, one was close but you know another 30% on top of the 100k I'm already paying so I thought not really made of money I don't want to do that I'd rather hold out for my uh, Green Goblin to arrive um, and um, I went into my app saw the car had disappeared and thought okay don't panic calm down I went into the VIN area, to, or the garage, to add my car, it asked me what my VIN was, put the VIN back in, green tick, said OK, then it took me to a new area which I'd never seen before, um, and it asked me for to enter a PIN code to create a PIN, so I created a four digit PIN, it accepted that, 
Then it said it needed to authorise, um, uh, verify who I was, and to put in a phone number, to, or it was going to dial a phone number and give me a code that I then had to enter into the screen. Now, this is all new. I n I've never had this before. Yeah, it, it wasn't pre warned by the dealer. So I went through this process, and basically, that code that I created is the code that when I do receive the car, I can put that into the car, and then the car and the app are all linked together. So I then followed that, took the phone call, put the code in, and now my app basically shows the car. There's other cars online. I've got a green blob. Now, I've joined a few forums and I've asked, you know, has anyone been through this process? Does this mean the car is actually built and it's on and it's sitting there with power? Or Because to me, I'm thinking, well, if it hasn't got a heater matrix and the car's incomplete, surely it wouldn't be connected to power. But perhaps if they've connected it all up and the car's all but finished, bar it has no heater in it, Maybe they've driven it somewhere and it's just sitting in storage, awaiting to be driven back to the factory to have its heater fitted. So, if anyone out there has got any clues as to what this means, I am I right in that the car is all but finished, it just doesn't have a heater in it, and hence, yes, it's been parked up somewhere, and it's got internet access, and therefore I'm able to access its PCM, because also by the looks of things, it's allowing me to go to the PCM and add my Apple um, account. But I don't know whether that's allowing me to do it live in the car or whether it's just the app accepting everything and then when the car's connected to my code all of that information will get installed into the car so if anyone out there has got any ideas that can lead me um, to the truth of the matter ie I'm just being dumb and it's just an app and it's not connected to the car then great at least then I can stop being so excited but the app shows different statuses. It's got Zs for when the car's in snooze, it's got green for when the car's online, and grey for, or red, um, red when the car is disc is not connected. So I don't know whether this is real, whether it's just the app, whether I should be excited, whether I should not be excited. Um, so yeah, any help, please, in the comments. If you've been through the similar process and you know what those stages are, um, then yeah, put me straight because I really don't want to pester the dealer anymore and I'm loathe to, to phone them when, you know, if I, I, apparently I've heard horror stories where I could be waiting, you know, months, um, which I hope is not the case. But as I said, if any of you got any ideas as to what is going on, um, then please do come back to me. Don't tell me to go and phone the dealer because I'm not going to do that. Um, in the comments, and if you want to know what's happening next, um, obviously subscribe and I will give you updates as soon as I have them. Um, but anyway, I hope you're all safe and well out there. I'm going to let you go now, but do follow, like, subscribe, give me some tips, and put me out of my misery. Okay, cheers guys. Oh.